hi guys welcome back to my bubble and in today's video as you can see by the title i have yet another fragrance video for you guys but before i get into that i first want to thank each and every one of you for all the love and support you have shown to me um even those of you who aren't too fond of these videos still show love still comment still like you know just still sure still sure still sure your continuous support and i am here for it i appreciate it i thank you all so 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 much and to all of my new subbies thank you and welcome to my bubble so in this video i am going to be talking about seven fragrances that i own in my collection that are all in blue bottles so i decided to do this video it's a little bit different one for me um because lately you guys i have been loving the color blue all shades of blue baby blue light blue navy blue teal turquoise you name it i love it i've been buying clothes blue it's just i've been loving the blues i'm into the blues it's just it's calling me and no i'm not pregnant and expecting a boy because i feel like that's something one of my family members would say negative no that's not what it is anyways enough rambling let's get right into this video and the first fragrance i am going to be talking to you guys about is she by alfred sung and i know this is a very old fragrance you guys i think it came out sometime in the 90s and besides that it's a real cheapy one <laughs> real real cheapy and i know it doesn't look like it's blue but it is blue like i i'm pretty sure you guys can catch like that shade of like iridescent blue it's supposed to be a teardrop <laughs> so cute um so this is she by alfred sung and when i first heard about this fragrance it was from ronda larice um here on youtube oh my goodness <laughs> this is good <laughs> Let me read to you guys the main accords and the notes just so you guys can have an idea. So the main accords are floral, aquatic, citrus, leather, fresh, musky, smoky, white floral, sweet, and tonic. And the notes are, the top notes are water lily, rice, rice leaf, mandarin, orange. Middle notes are orange blossom, frangipani. Base notes are birch leaf and musk now you guys when L ronda larice spoke about this one she described it as a very light everyday type of scent she uses this one to go to the gym and that sounds about right like this is a good one for things like that to go to the gym to run errands to go grocery shopping it's a really light inoffensive everyday easy grab it's aquatic it's what it's a white floral it's fresh it's clean a perfect one for the summertime a quickie it's just it's just perfect it's just good it's light it's airy i really really like it a bit shampooy um it's refreshing all these notes are like very well blended and it's like to me it reminds me of like a water lily paw water lily paw what is that water lily pond made of mineral water made of mineral water a water lily pond yes that's exactly what it is to me it's so good and it's so inexpensive you guys like this was like i believe 16 17 dollars on fragrance net so check it out this is she by alfred sun so next up i have here none other than dior addict and you may not be able to see or maybe you can see but this is like a a dark blue it's a navy blue bottle you guys uh i don't know if you can capture that on camera but it's navy blue yep <laughs> it's navy blue let me stop trying to show you because but yeah this is navy blue and this one let me read you the main accords and the notes so the main accords are vanilla white floral sweet woody powdery aromatic fruity <clears throat> warm spicy balsamic and amber 
and the notes are top notes are blackberry mandarin leaf middle notes are jasmine <clears throat> night blooming cirrus orange blossom rose and the base notes are vanilla tonka bean and sandalwood now this fragrance is definitely a wintertime scent for me um i wouldn't really wear this during the summertime and if i wear it during the springtime it'll probably be at night because it's, it's a strong one um this is sexy this is warm this is very vanilla y this to me reminds me a little bit of armani code like they're in they're not the same but they're like cousins to me like they're like in the same family <laughs> they're cousins um this one i remember when i first used this i was some i was in the like seventh grade and not because i owned it because i was really young to have this kind of perfume but you know you guys already know that bougie aunt with no kids who had all types of perfumes and i used to wear all of them and get in trouble for it her she had this and of course i used to go into it and touch all her shit but from what i remember that it, it smells different I, this might be a new formulation because the one back then it was like more like smoother and creamier and more vanilla -y and like just more pleasant i guess this to me smells a little dirty like th this this one smells like a little dirty like a little dusty like like if you left like flowers and and vanilla in a in like a dusty attic like if you left it there to go there like to rot i know that sounds horrible but this is still good like it's just different it doesn't smell the same as it once did years ago and another you know little quick story time about this one i remember when i was in high school a freshman a freshman in high school um there was this junior girl and she was like a lesbian she was a, a ag an aggressive girl like the ones that that dressed like a dyke like she swore to everything that she was a whole dude she was notorious for wearing this like i smelled her down the hall whenever like she was around i knew she was around because she was always wearing this now this has like a little masculine feel and it makes sense it makes sense she did think she was a whole nigga you know what i'm saying but yeah it was just it was it was like this reminds me of her she was a junior i was a freshman and she was like she had a little thing for me i'm not into girls i'm strictly dickly but she made me feel some type of way she made me feel some type of way <laughs> this is dior addict you guys so next up is i fancy you by jessica simpson now i absolutely love all of jessica simpson's fragrances well i'm lying i'm lying i'm lying not all of them with the exception of her two latest fragrances fancy forever which i ended up giving it to my mom and fiend which i wasn't a fiend of <laughs> saw what i did there <laughs> anyways i fancy you i really i like this one i really really do this is this is a goodie this is a goodie um let me read you let me read you the reach the reach <laughs> the main accords fruity green white floral fresh floral sweet musky fresh spicy powdery and citrus top notes are red apple pear bergamot middle notes are hyacinth lily of the valley two bros and base notes are musk sandalwood and sandalwood <laughs> i was gonna keep going like now this is so good you guys i get the juiciness of the pear and a hint of the red apple as well this is juicy oh my god this is so good like this is good this is fresh this is clean i absolutely love it for the spring and the summertime it's a floral scent it reminds me of clean laundry like this is an everyday type of scent honestly it's like clean laundry fresh summery white floral you can't you just can't go wrong you just can't go wrong and i've used it a couple times not too much but i used it a couple times i do over spray so i remember i got compliments on this one a little while ago i've had it for what like a year now 
I love it. I really, really love it. This is one that I would be purchased because it's nice. It's nice and it's another cheapie, you guys. You can't go wrong with the cheapies. Mm. So next up we have Mediterranean <laughs> by Elizabeth Arden. Um, so the main accords for this one are floral, fruity, citrus, powdery, sweet, musky, woody, and fresh. The notes are, top notes are plum, Sicilian mandarin, peach, middle notes are wisteria, magnolia, orchid, and the base notes are musk, sandalwood, and amber. Now, this one, honestly, when I first got this one, you guys, this was a blind buy for me. I had no clue what it smelled like, but I first purchased this one when I was like, you know, starting my whole perfume craziness and I was scrolling and browsing on fragrancenet.com and I came across this bottle. I absolutely fell in love with the bottle. I just like the bottle. The bottle caught my eye and I only purchased it because of the bottle. <laughs> that was it. And I, I was also, it was during the summertime, so I was kind of like on the hunt for something aquatic, something beachy, something watery. And this is not it. This is not it at all. It's definitely, it's aquatic. It's a little harsh, like it has a harsh opening because it's like soapy. It's like really soapy. But it's perfect for the summertime. Like if you want something fresh and clean, something that's going to let people know that you just got out of the shower and you washed your hair and your hair is still wet and you just smell clean, this is it. And guess what? It was like less than 15 bucks. You can't go wrong. You just, you can't go wrong. It's not bad, but it's not one of my favorites. And I don't think I would repurchase this one because it's a little bit like like overwhelming like that's how harsh and soapy it is so with that being said that's why i like to pair it with none other than cloud by ariana grande this is another one of my blue bottled fragrances this one is overly hype hyped here on youtube everybody talks about this one and you guys i don't see it i really really don't see what everybody why everybody loves it so much so the main accords for this one is sweet lactonic vanilla and coconut and the top notes are lavender pear bergamot middle notes whipped cream praline coconut vanilla orchid base notes are musk and woody notes now this is exactly that <laughs> sweet cozy whipped creamy yeah soft airy it's warm but it's not heavy it's honestly nothing to brag about and on me it doesn't last long i have to like i hate reapplying like i hate to have to reapply my fragrances and i overspray so it's like 10 like i'm overspraying and i still have to reapply that's a problem to me so yeah it's like after three three to four hours this is like gone like this is gone so i like to mix this one with this one and somehow for me it just lasts longer it works it's weird because this is so soapy and harsh and this is so cozy and warm and just like mm, like cuddly i guess the the I guess the combo it just works it works because when i mix it it projects more it lasts longer i've gotten compliments when i mix these two and it just works like i don't know what it is i don't know if it's the soapiness and the coziness and the warmth of this one and the freshness of this one that just like goes together but it works for me this one alone i'm not crazy about it and this one alone i'm not crazy about it neither but when they come together magic baby magic so next up you guys is something blue by oscar de la renta oscar de la renta um i know the bottle is not really blue but the cap is and the name is something blue so it goes perfectly with this video um the main accords in this one are white floral yellow floral citrus green musky floral sweet fresh powdery and fresh fresh spicy um the top notes are lime linden blossom neroli bergamot mandarin orange 
Middle notes are Lily of the Valley, Stephanotis, Narcissus, and Lychee. Base notes are White Musk and Barrette, Musk Mallow, Cashmere Wood, Ambergris, and Bourbon, Bourbon Vanilla. So a whole lot of notes for such a simple fragrance. Um, I did a whole review on this one. <sighs> I did a whole review on this one, you guys. Because before I purchased this one, I just, I noticed that there aren't many reviews on this fragrance like there's very few and the few that i found aren't you know very detailed they aren't thorough they told me nothing so for those of you who are anything like me and that want to know what they're buying before they buy it i made a review and i'll link that down below in case you guys are interested now this one is summer it's fresh it's green it's citrusy it's just summer in a bottle. It's so good. It's like so refreshing. It's delicate. A lot of people say on Fragrantica that this is like the perfect wedding scent. I don't think it's a wedding scent. This is a little bit too like simple for a wedding. I would want something a little bit more complex. A little bit, you know, something with more depth to it for a wedding. But this is nice to go wedding dress shopping or you know shopping for like stuff for your wedding a good shopping perfume not for the wedding though um this is sharp it's green it's crisp it's clean there's no sweetness here it's just summerness okay it has a bright opening it's just it's it's just good it's an energizing scent um as i mentioned in the review that i made um of, for this fragrance this reminds me of colonia uh, la colonia for babies para mi bebe the blue one for those moms out there that know what i'm talking about then you know para mi bebe the blue bottle <laughs> this is what that smells like and it's so good it, it's like it reminds me of a sunny day in the summertime waiting to happen that's that's what it is this is nice and another one that was fairly inexpensive i believe i paid like 18 bucks for this one something blue by oscar de la renta this last one was a mother's day gift from my mama so mommy if you're watching this thank you very much i absolutely love it and this was one of the latest um fragrances added to my collection i didn't want to feature this one in this video because i wanted to leave it for my summertime fragrance haul um i plan to do one of those for you guys but but it's a blue bottle so it, and it's a really really blue bottle like i could not leave this out you guys like how could i how could i like look at this gem it's beautiful doesn't it remind you of like the ocean when you're on a vacation you have that beautiful perfect view right across from you and it's just blue with shades of blue and green and ah so beautiful so this is paradiso Asuro by roberto cavalli and i'm just excited i'm excited so let me read to you guys the main course for this one and it's woody aromatic citrus white floral fresh spicy aquatic fresh lavender fruity and green the top notes are lavender bergamot tangerine Middle notes are watery notes, wild jasmine, apple, and tuberose, peach, rose. And the base notes are cypress, cashmere wood, amber wood, sandalwood, and vanilla. So much wood. <laughs> well, let's, let's smell this real quick. Ah, I love it. I love it. I love it and I'm happy and I love it and I love it. I love it. I love it. So this is aquatic. This is aquatic. This is a nice summery scent. Oh my god. This reminds me of something else that I've smelled. I think that I've even owned. Do you guys know of C by Chloe? Like that perfume? that it reminds me a little a little bit just a little bit of that one i miss that fragrance so much you guys i love that fragrance and i can't find it on fragrancenet.com this is so good this is definitely a summer scent perfect for the summertime aquatic a casual fruity 
freshy type of scent it's kind of like like a how do i describe it like a cold scent like there's no type of warmth here it's like a cold one so it's perfect for summer perfect for summer and good for now for the springtime because although it's been very hot it's still not springtime you guys i mean it's still not summertime summertime's in june 20 something around there so we're still in spring so this is a cold scent i don't know if that makes sense i don't know if you know what i mean but it's just cold it's like aqua-ish watery as the notes said it's fresh it's clean it's also kind of like sexy because it does have like a lot of woods in there but it's like it the watery notes and the aquaticness of it washes it out but it's still there if you know what i mean it's just so good i haven't used this yet as you can see it was still in its box and it's brand new and it's one of the latest ones added to my collection but i absolutely love it and i can't wait to use it i can't wait to use it oh my god oh my god i'm so happy this is a beautiful this is a beautiful bottle you guys i love the bottles from this line like i also have paradiso paradiso Absoluto, and i do want gemma di paradiso as well so i want to collect those three bottles because they're just beautiful they're heavy they're beautiful they're so like oh so pretty anyways you guys <laughs> i'm a little too hype but am i um This concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Time for some wine, you guys. Because it's time to wash these blues away.